William sides with Diana by defying convention and not bowing to Camilla. By not bowed to Queen Camilla at the coronation, Prince William officially breached royal tradition. The Prince of Wales may have felt it was awkward to make such a gesture to his stepmother, according to a body language expert. Instead, Judy James claimed that he might have unconsciously sided with his late mother, Princess Diana, as a result of his gut instinct. When King Charles and Queen Camilla arrived at Windsor on May 6, the majority of the royal family had already taken their seats for the special event. The majority of the firm thereafter bowed or curtsied only to the king. Even failing to extend a formal greeting to their grandma, Prince George and Princess Charlotte followed their father's example. According to Ms. James, lower-ranking royals are expected to bow or curtsy to those who are more senior. And he ought to have done so given Camilla's new position as the Prince of Wales superior. She did note that it was possible that he had already done so earlier in the day, off-camera, and had decided not to repeat it. James said, would William have felt comfortable bowing to the woman who took the place of his mother on the throne of the UK? He turns to look at his father but avoids looking at his stepmother. In contrast, she said Kate offered a warm gesture to her mother-in-law. This is a unique example of selective bowing, where William, Charlotte and George opt to not bow or curtsy to Camilla in keeping with protocol, but Kate drops a deep curtsy to both Charles and Camilla, she said. Ms. James opined, Kate engages Camilla in some eye contact and a warm smile before dropping into a curtsy that she might not have performed before the coronation. There may have been some awareness of Camilla's new position and status because the Duke of Gloucester can be seen lowering his head before Kate does the same. Before bowing, Kate grins at Camilla, indicating that she is still acting as the royal mediator in this situation. The body language expert asserted that this was most likely the case because Kate will one day serve as the queen consort and would want to be treated with the same respect. Kate appears eager to put an end to any hostility or anger with this one straightforward show of respect from a future queen to the present monarch. We'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this topic. Don't hesitate to leave a comment below and share your perspective with us. Let's get the conversation going.